Hey my friends, welcome to 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and today is day 11, and I'm feeling kind of tight and meh, so I'm gonna get on the mat and find what feels good. Let's get started. Alrighty my friends, today we're going to begin in a cross-legged position. You can lift the hips up if you like. Get to a place where you can sit up nice and tall and feel comfortable. <clears throat> All right, we'll begin to notice the breath. We'll begin to settle into our practice today. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Take a deep breath in and find that long, awesome exhale out. Beginning with a little gentle spinal flex today, we'll bring the palms to the knees, press into the sit bones, and use your breath as you inhale. Open your heart, your chest, lift it forward. Nose draws up towards the sky, and we begin to open up this throat chakra here. It's kind of like an animal if you ever have a pet. You can recognize this shape in their body when they wake up. And then on an exhale, we draw the navel back towards the spine. We kind of rock on the pelvis and we bring the chin to the chest as the crown of the head draws towards the navel. Take a couple breaths here. It's funny, I just had a memory. We do this in our very first ever Yoga with Adrian video, the Sukhasana video. Catch your weight uh, in your palms here for a deeper stretch. And then inhale, a little booty massage as you rock forward. Again, lifting the chest, opening the heart and the throat. And exhale, chin to chest, navel to spine, nose draws down. We stretch, rock the pelvis. As you inhale, elbows down. And now that you got the gist of it, you can close the eyes and really visualize the spine here. You know how like in an anatomy diagram or if you can imagine the skeleton, all its wonderful attachments, close your eyes and just see your body here moving, move nice and slow back and forth. Then on your next breath in, we'll come back up to a nice, Stack position here, head over heart, heart over pelvis. Drop the left palm down, inhale, reach the right fingertips high. Give yourself lots of space today. So let's slide the left palm out and find this nice side body stretch. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and spiral your heart up towards the sky. You might find a little movement here, stretching the back body. Again, any tight or sore muscles, ground down through the tops of the thighs. Then we're going to draw the navel in, slide on through, rounding the spine, and take it to the other side. Same thing here. And draw your chin to your chest, navel in, and we round through and take it to the left. This time maybe we lower the left elbow, and maybe not. Maybe we're like, oh, timber. To each his own here and back through center. And we open up. Back through center, chin to chest, roll it up, loop your shoulders, set up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the fingertips up overhead. And exhale out through the mouth, lion's breath. What? Inhale in again. And lion's breath, don't be shy. And one more time. And we float the fingertips down. Palms rest gently on the legs. We close the eyes and observe the breath. Observe the energy. Getting some fresh blood, fresh oxygen flowing through. Hmm. Then bat your eyelashes open. And we'll send it on forward, onto all fours. When you get there, find your tabletop position. 
We're gonna inhale, lift the right knee. We're just gonna draw some big, 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 big circles with the knees one way and then the other. There's a tendency to really shift all your weight into the left side body, kind of putting this unnecessary undue pressure on the left wrist. So stay connected through your right palm. Reverse your circle. Think about carving lines through space. Stay active and alive through your foot to avoid any foot cramps or weirdness in the foot. <laughs> then we release. We're going to just do the same thing on the other side. Engage the torso so you're not crashing into your shoulders or wrists. Left knee lifts up and we begin to check in with that ball and socket. It might even feel good on the tops of the glutes. And this might be hard work, so we breathe, support the movement with the breath. Reverse your circle. Stay connected to your midline. Press into your left palm. And we release. Awesome. Curl the toes under. Here we go. Sending the hips up and back. Downward dog. Bend the knees generously. Create space. Bring the feet about hip width apart here. Press away from the palms. Then we're going to bend the right knee in towards the center line first, dropping down through that left heel. Breathe into the outer edge of that left hip and then turn your gaze to look underneath your left armpit chest or your left arm. Then we switch, right heel comes down. We just soften that left knee in towards the center line. We anchor down through that right heel and we look underneath the right arm. Then one more time to each side, back and forth. Nice, and then we come to center. Slowly walking the feet all the way up towards the front edge of the mat. Take your time. Gosh, creaky floor. And we release the front body over. So we find this extension in the front of the body, in the spine, excuse me, so that we can relax down. Extended forward fold. Then today we're going to reach behind, interlace the fingertips behind the tailbone. Use the knuckles to draw down. Bend your knees softly, press into your feet, and slowly roll up here, drawing the knuckles down towards the earth as you tuck your pelvis in. We slowly roll it up, and then we open up through the chest and find this awesome stretch in the upper back body. Oh, yeah. Take a deep breath in. Draw energy up through the arches of the feet, the inner thighs. Heart lifts up. And exhale, we break free. Great, inhale, reaching up and overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, soften and bow. Plant the palms, step or hop it back to plank. We're not gonna do a lot of these today, so let's do one nice full vinyasa here, either lowering all the way down or lowering halfway. Inhale, lift up, open your heart. And exhale, lower the knees and widen them. Send it back, extended child's pose. Three breaths here, in and out. Then press into the tops of the feet. Sit bones anchor down as we walk the palms up. We're gonna turn the fingertips in. So right fingertips turn clockwise, left fingertips counterclockwise. We'll keep the knees wide here. And we take a lion's breath as we press into the palms here. Inhale, open your heart, your chest, rock the pelvis out, lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale out. Inhale for lion's breath, inhale in. Exhale, tongue out. Awesome, release. Palms back up to the front of the mat. We walk the knees underneath the hips, curl the toes under, and send it up and back, downward facing dog. So one of the things I love about lion is it's really like let go of what others think, practice, enjoy the cleanse, the playfulness. Deep breath in here, long breath out. 
And then we go for a slow walk towards the front once again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Reach behind, interlace, maybe opposite thumb on top this time. Soften through the knees and we begin to roll it up once again. Stacking up through the spine, we open the chest and shoulders. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale, break free. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale, back down we go. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, soften and bow. This time we're going to step the right foot back, lower onto the right knee. Breathe into the front of the right hip crease as you interlace the fingertips and bring it to the top of that left thigh. Baby pulses here. You can keep the right toes curled under or you can come onto the top of that back foot. So I say um, do whatever feels most stable for you and your foot and your ankle. Make sure you're not on a tight rope here. You might walk your left foot out just a hair. And we're doing baby pulses here. We can pad the knee. We can always double up on the mat. Then we'll sink into that front hip, pull the left hip crease back, find that upward current of energy as you reach the fingertips up. Breathing in. And on an exhale, we release. Great. Plant the palms, curl the back toes under. We're gonna send it right back to downward facing dog. And we switch, stepping the right leg up this time whenever you're ready. We come onto the left knee, we stretch through the front uh, front of that left hip crease, we pull the right hip crease back, and same thing here, maybe making sure we're on two parallel lines. We interlace the fingertips, and we find baby pulses, stretching it out. And we can stay here, totally grounded, easy breezy, or we might experiment with reaching the fingertips up. Drawing energy up from the earth as if you're pressing away from the top of that back foot and the ball joint of this front big toe. So squeeze this right knee in. This tends to happen a lot, this tendency to go Wah. So draw it in, reach it up. You got this, one more breath. Shine bright. And exhale, release. Cool, curl the back toes under and we step that back foot up to meet the front forward fold. Great, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, inhale, all the way up, nice and easy this time, just reaching fingertips up and overhead, slight back bend. And exhale, back down we go. Inhale, flat back, we'll begin to warm it up. And exhale, bow. Stepping the right foot back again, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, lowering onto the right knee. Once again, we inhale, reach it up overhead, full body stretch. Exhale, melting it back. Plant the palms. We step it back to downward facing dog and switch. Stepping the right leg all the way up. Inhale, stretch it out here, don't rush it. Then lower that back knee whenever you're ready and we rise up, spreading energy awareness through the fingertips. And on an exhale, release. And vinyasa, totally skip this vinyasa if you're keeping it chill today. Sliding the right toes back. Shifting forward, lower belly draws in, and we find our bliss. Together we'll meet in downward facing dog. Drop the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg high. Bend the right knee, hug it all the way up towards your heart. Then step it on through into your lunge. Lower that back knee once again. Okay, so this time we're going to walk the right foot over towards the right side of the mat, and even allow the right toes to turn out just a hair. I come onto my left palms, my fingertips, or if I have a block or a book handy, my yoga book, yoga prop book, I can lift the earth up to me, which is sometimes really nice. Um, you might think too sometimes like, no, I can do it, I can do it, and it's like, why are you being stubborn? Just give yourself a little space. And it's kind of nice to start here. And then, slowly come here. And then maybe, and sometimes just anatomically folks are more open in the hips, maybe you come onto the forearms and maybe you lift the back knee up. And maybe you're like, that is just crazy talk. 
But if you do lift that back knee up, I encourage you to notice what's going on in your foot and your ankle. Really press into all five toes. Find that sit bone to heel connection. It is possible to roll on the outer edge of this right foot if that feels awesome. I like to keep mine nice and grounded, but that's a nice variation for some. So we're here, or we're here, or we're here, or we're here. Find your lizard variation today and then really tap into that sweet breath, my friends, that pranayama. Moving the prana, the energy around in the body, blocking, clearing out any blockages. Really doing some awesome, awesome stuff for the body here and the mind and the spirit. One more breath. Then we slowly rise up wherever we are. Walk that right knee in. And then we slowly send the sit bones back, rocking onto that right heel. Just one deep, full breath cycle here. In and out. Then we'll roll through that right foot. Plant the palms. And you have an option here. You can step it straight back to downward facing dog, or you can move through your vinyasa. From down dog, we drop the right heel, inhale, lift the left leg high. Bend that left knee, squeeze it up in towards your heart. Press away from the earth, and then step your left foot up into your lunge. Lower the right knee, slowly. And here we go. Walking the left toes out now. Turning or fanning the left toes just out towards the left edge of the mat. Palms come inward here, and we just slow it down. There's no rush. I feel like that's where the yummy stuff comes. That's why this home practice is so great because you get a chance to really work into the sensations so that then you can go rock out in a public class and move at the pace um, that the t-shirt t- <laughs> teacher sets. Here we are. Everyone's like, shut up, Adrian. Here we are. Checking it out on the other side. Maybe we lift that back knee, maybe we save that for another day. Deep breaths. Eventually we'll start wrapping this arm underneath and going into arm balances and stuff. So just enjoy where you're at today. How lucky that we have so much to look forward to. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Then we slowly release. Come back up. Bring the left foot back in and send the hips up and back. One full breath cycle here. Enjoy. Make the most of it. And then we'll roll through that left foot. Come back to our low lunge and step the back foot up to meet the front. Forward fold. Cool, inhale, halfway lift from here. Exhale, soften and bow. Inhale, spread the fingertips wide, reach all the way up, full body stretch. And exhale back down at the heart. Take a second here to just observe your breath. Notice how you feel. Then we'll draw the chin down, look down at your feet. Hands come to the waistline. And I'm gonna cross my right ankle over the left here. Toes point forward, or at least just try to keep a consciousness of that. And a little softness in the knees, so don't lock that back knee. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Now if you have that block, you can bring the earth up to you here. Maybe you keep the hands on the waistline or maybe you reach the fingertips down or palms. Relax the weight of the head over, excuse me, press into all four corners of your left foot. Then tuck the chin into the chest, soften through the knees, press into all four corners of your feet to come up nice and strong, nice and strong, nice and strong, and then we release and switch. Uh, left foot, excuse me, crosses over the right. Hands come to the waistline and we just kind of find our integrity here, lifting up. And then keeping a nice long puppy belly here as we forward fold. Hands 
Hands can stay on the waistline, thumbs pulling back, or we can bring hands to block or release. You know what to do. Now from here, we're gonna inhale in, bring the head up just a hair, just so you can see your feet, and soften through the knees so you can unravel from here. And then we're gonna heel toe, heel toe the feet wide. Stay in your forward fold, so I realize you're probably looking at me, but stay low here because we're gonna drop the sit bones and come into Malasana, our squat. Palms come together at the heart. We squeeze the legs in towards the arms and we press the arms towards the legs. Remember from before, you can use a block underneath the sit bones here, it's really nice. Or you can pillow the heels with a blanket. Find your deep yogic squat today and take a nice full loving breath in. Nice loving breath out. And one more time in. And out. Fingertips come to the earth. We tuck the chin into the chest, press into the outer edges of the feet and roll it on up all the way. Awesome. Whew. Awesome. So now we're going to spread the feet a little bit wider, <clears throat> keeping the toes turned out. Hands are going to reach up here, really reach, 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 spread your fingertips and on an exhale, bend your knees. So now we're getting into some crazy Shakti moves here. Day 11 in heaven. I swear I'm sober. Okay. Knees are going to want to come in. We're really going to work strong here. We're not going to be here for long. Trust me. But keep your knees pressing out. So really, tops of the thighs are going to spiral out, really trying to make sure that you can see your big toes. Okay, this is important. Then tuck your pelvis in. Horse pose or goddess pose is, is a nicer uh, uh, name. God or goddess pose. Palms come together here nice and strong. Inhale in. Exhale. Turn to the right. Sink down low. Inhale to center. Exhale. Turn to the left. Sink down low. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Only one more time. You got it. Inhale to center. Smile. Exhale to the right. Drop your sit bones. Head over heart. Heart over pelvis as you inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center and release. Straighten your legs. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And exhale, let it go. Heel toe, heel toe the feet all the way back into center. My favorite little dance move. And we take a deep breath in. Take a couple moments here in Mountain Pose to just feel the soles of the feet, the sensations up through the legs and hips. Maybe notice if there's still any tension or tightness in the torso, the shoulders, the neck that needs to be worked out before you continue off your mat and into the rest of your day. Thanks for sharing your practice with me. Awesome work. Take care.